You have a problem because you guys used to be a slaves, yeah? Shut what? up! And it's all That's on the cover of racism. You are you're the fucking you're racist, racist piece of shit. shit. You are the fucking racist. In the beginning of last century, American scientist James Watson stated that black people are not as smart as white people. Back then, people scoffed at his statement and did not take it seriously. However, spoken now, this argument would be responsible for street riots, murders, imprisonment, and challenging the entire world order. Is there racism in Bulgaria? I didn't want to ask the politicians, intellectuals, or sociologists, but the ordinary people. You make a decision whether they are victims or just fortunate. Anna Bakari is Bulgarian. She meets her husband Alex in Sofia, they fall in love and a couple of years later, their children David and Remy were born. That is when the problems begin. My children are Bulgarian. Just like I am, I came up with the idea of taking them to the UK while they were still little. I just couldn't live with the horror, thinking that one day when my son is a teenager, someone could beat him on the street only because they don't like his dreadlocks or his skin color. Twenty-seven years old Dundee grew up in Velikotenovo in Bulgaria. As a child from a mixed marriage, his life in Bulgaria was a daily challenge and a constant battle for survival. My mum is Bulgarian and my dad is from Mozambique. It's a South African Republic. I am the offspring of a communist relationship between Bulgaria and Mozambique. As a child, books were my, were my main hobby. I loved reading. Bulgarian literature was my favourite. I suffered a lot because I wanted to spend my childhood in Africa, not in Bulgaria. They are just one of the many Bulgarians who felt like refugees in their own country. Got used to constant attacks, fear and tough life. Unfortunately, while we are still waiting legal action to be taken, another immigrant will be assaulted on the street and the attacker will not be prosecuted. The problem is that majority of Bulgarians are racist, not only towards Africans, but towards all the ethnic groups. Bulgarians have a racist attitude to people from different races. Even people like me are not accepted. I personally think that racists in Bulgaria need to be prosecuted. Amnesty International is one of the world's biggest non-governmental organizations focused on human rights. In February 2015, Amnesty International publishes a report for our country named Missing the Point. Lack of adequate investigation of hate crime in Bulgaria. While my husband was looking for a job in Bulgaria, no one wanted to hire him. Every single day we were bullied and people were shouting at us on the street and accusing me of being with a black guy. I worked in a fast food restaurant in Sofia, many night shifts. Sometimes it was, I was happening to hear different remarks from the customers, asking me where I'm from. I've been called Mongli, Monkey, Chimpanzee. Most of the times I, just, I was just ignoring them and holding my feelings back. Washington Post research indicates that Bulgaria, Albania and Moldova are one of the most racially intolerant countries. The research also reveals that every third Bulgarian doesn't want, as a neighbor, a person from a different ethnic group. Children learn from their parents and they copy their attitude towards the others. It's heartbreaking when your child comes home after school crying because other children avoid her, calling her black and ugly. I had a friend who was also married for Tanzanian and she was beaten while pregnant only because she's carrying a black child. I personally can no longer imagine living in Bulgaria. My life here has somehow come to an end. We don't have a chance. It's better if they never return to Bulgaria. Yes, they might have sentimental feelings about Bulgaria, but it seems like life there is no longer possible for them. They have chosen to run away to a place where racism is seemingly non-existent, where they would be not treated as different and would be able to find employment easily.
They have sold salvation in the 12 million London, where the population density exceeds 7,000 citizens per square kilometre. The UK government secures annual budget of over £1 billion for combating racial discrimination and xenophobia. How successful are these campaigns, however? I've been attacked 25 times. We are divided, we are isolated, we are working separately. Arabs, Muslim, Turkish, Kurdish, Paki, Raghead, go back to your country. I was racially abused on the street last weekend. Yeah, and racist incidents in Britain are a constant and at times are going up even in the last few years. The problem that we have is that because there is an institutional racism within the police. That's why coming to London turned out to be a double-edged sword for Dundee. Sad but true, his predicament is captured in his question. Not only that I'm black, but I'm also a Bulgarian. How am I supposed to find a job here? I wash dishes, disinfect surfaces at particular premises. The job is terrible, disgusting, strenuous and stressful. English people consider us Bulgarians to be second-hand citizens, servants and extremely miserable people. Almost like scum. I generally feel discriminated against not only by the white Brits here, but also the black ones. As crazy as it may sound, there are very high levels of racism in the UK and what instigates it is the presence of far too many ethnic groups in one place. In the year of 2007, following six years long negotiations, the European Union passed a law against racism and xenophobia. According to this law, anyone who instigates racism and xenophobia could be sentenced with up to three years in prison. The law carefully avoids the words Holocaust and Stalinism due to the specifics of the freedom of speech legislation in the United Kingdom. Racism is on the rise. There's been this steady stream of media and, and state complicity in creating gr uh, a ground for a new kind of racism. It's the beginning of a stereotyping and I think we have to fight it. We're better. We're British. We're, we're better than Australia. We're better than India. We, you know, I mean, there's racism in most societies, I suspect. The famous British actor Dean Christie presented in front of our camera. But I think he was not acting when he said that this is no longer his London. In his personal view, migration from Europe and the Arab world will destroy the English identity in the next 20 years. All in Bulgaria, Russia and all that, the racism is like really hardcore. I would think the black person who's run from Bulgaria because of racism would feel a lot more comfortable here. It's quite shameful, the behaviour of, you know, some Bulgarians and stuff like that, the way they treat foreigners. If the Bulgarian wants to come to England, that's alright. If someone wants to come to Bulgaria, that's not alright. It's just ignorant. If the politicians in, in Russia and Bulgaria and all that are allowing it to, to go on, then really, it's, it's barbaric. You're going back to the dark ages, do you know what I mean? Because if the police are not willing to say, well, you can't speak to people like that, then racism is, is, is just, it's just as bad as what it ever was. And it will never change in them countries, will it? The big change called London seems to be well accepted by Anna's family. Her children quickly learn English and her son has been invited to play in one of the leading adolescent football teams in the country. He quickly forgets that his schoolmates in Bulgaria were not even letting him train with them in the school sport hall. The Bulgarians who come to the UK with their negative attitudes towards people from other ethnicities become even more polarized in their views here. This is because in almost any job they get, their manager is African or Asian. These Bulgarians quickly start to make statements like, how is he any better than me? Upon arrival in the UK, they look for the so-called white neighborhoods where no Indians, Pakistani or Africans live. These Bulgarians don't change at the slightest. The hatred against black people in the UK is strongly instigated by the movement English Defence League. 
Members of the organization can be seen in the UK's bigger cities as they search to assault ethnic minority members. I've been attacked several times by the English Defence League, um, mostly for being in a mixed group. Um, the first thing I would do is demand that politicians do as they say. They say they believe in democracy, they say they believe in freedom, but when it comes on to blaming immigrants for why there isn't housing or health care, that a lot of politicians indulge themselves in this, and I think that feeds into the attacks on the streets. There is racism, but no one's getting to the bottom of it and why it is here. The public is seeing, and the government is seeing, and the system are seeing, but not doing anything about it. There's a lot of suffering going on, and there shouldn't be any souls dying for other people's mistakes. Unfortunately, religion proves to be the driving force of the instigation of racism. In just 10 years in the United Kingdom, he has seen the creation of over 10 organizations fighting Islamism. This ethnic and religious tension is however also used by newly formed political parties, whose aim is to raise as many votes as possible for the parliamentary elections in the United Kingdom. What's worrying is that people are not educating themselves on the topic, on Islam in itself, and that is what the worry is. There's a growing culture, uh, and it's an ignorant culture, and it'll, it'll, it, it's becoming a cancer. Why? All right, I'm a different colour, but we all bleed the same. You see what I mean? I look different to you, but what's inside me is still the same as you. We will eventually have more deaths. We have a toxic environment, a toxic society, and if we don't fix it, eventually we will reach a point where, you know, we have a clash. The fundamentalists that take it to the extreme, do you know what I mean? And they're the ones that are racist and they're the ones that are causing all the problems, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Politicians don't handle things correctly. And what it is, it's like racism is now getting caught up with religion and all that. You know, you see a woman on a train in a burqa, people look, if she's got a bag, they'll look and think, oh, she's a bummer. Majority of people that are sort of like blaming all the Muslims for terrorism and hate. That is what is breeding racism. We have all heard about the legendary British hypocrisy. Many believe that racism in the UK is simply well disguised and purely subdued by the economic and commercial drives. The ordinary citizens just put up with it. All of these make racism in the UK a time bomb. There have been three large-scale riots in the course of the last 10 years in London. Each of them was triggered by the murder of a black member of the public. When two years ago a black man killed the British military Lee Rugby, the Brits seemingly accept this. But the question is for how much longer? It's very deep in British society. Every single day that can eat away at you and make you feel like a second class citizen. And I don't think anybody should be treated that way. No one stared at them, no one whispered behind their backs, no one looked at them differently, neither did anyone treat them with disingenuous sympathy as some kind of demonstration of compassion or tolerance. About a year after we moved, she asked me why we had left Bulgaria, and then she remembered, ah oh yeah, it was because the other kids treated me badly. These are the characters born in our Bulgarian reality. This is the image created by the lack of prosecution and punishment of racism. Whilst in the UK a person who has published a racist material in Facebook or Twitter can get up to two months prison sentence, in Bulgaria the same individual will get hundreds of likes at most. And yet what remains good is that our characters will not forget, and those who come after will not remember, missing out on what is essential.